What's up dudes and dudes in the internet, my name's Seth and today we're going to be playing some Mages of Mastralia because some stuff has changed. For those of you that don't know, I already have a full Let's Play series of this game and I was able to complete the game in about 5 hours as you can see right here, which is fairly impressive because the devs say it would take like 10 hours, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, they ended up adding an Archage mode since the last time that we ended up playing, which is pretty much going to be the exact same adventure except the enemies are going to end up being upgraded to higher tiers and not just, oh, these are like stronger enemies, they're more tanky and stuff like that. No, as you can see plainly in this picture, a normal goblin might end up being a normal, like what was normally a boss enemy. Also, the puzzles are going to be that much more devilishly difficult. The game has also seen console releases as well. All of this stuff ended up happening in August, including the uh, Archage mode right here. Uh, but most of all, the reason why we're actually revisiting this is not only just to celebrate all that stuff, uh, but the devs ended up contacting me saying, we want to celebrate all this cool, awesome stuff that's happened, which is a fantastic game. I highly recommend it. Links are going to be in the description for everything about this game uh, on the console versions and everything like that. But also, they ended up throwing me three extra Steam codes for the game as well. Well, so all you gotta do to qualify for those folks is just all, all that I ask is you hit the like button because it helps me out supports the video makes it show up in searches and stuff like that uh, But then also just leave a comment in the comment section down below and then I'll end up having my own response to let you all know that you ended up winning Otherwise, let's just do what we've already done before which is just going through the beginning I am your mentor. I have nothing better than blah 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 He's calling us an idiot because we ended up burning our town down because we're such a jerk Spoilers are probably going to be really, really bad. This is like this is how this guy's the last boss. That's not a spoiler. He's not actually the last boss at all. I'm just pretending that he is. Shut up! Stop talking! I want to show the people the beautifulness of the game and how the world works and how beautiful the graphics are. Like, seriously, that, that was the big appeal to me with this game in the first place, was the art direction. But also just the gameplay style, because it's very much like, uh, what was that game, Wizardry or Wizards or something? I, I don't know, Magic with a K? I think that's what it was called. Yeah, let's just go with that and pretend that's what it was, right? So, it's kind of like very puzzle based spells and very unique in the gameplay aspects where later on in the game You might end up getting an ice spell and then you can put an ice bridge over uh, The water or uh, you know have stone and then set that up to being a bridge that you can create bridges over lava and stuff like that uh, All sorts of different unique combinations and thousands of different spell combinations that you can end up doing which I barely even scratched the surface of any of that. I just created the spells that worked for me. I did not create very impressive ones. I'm just giving you a quick heads up if you do actually decide that you want to go through my entire Let's Play series. And again, links will be in the description for that. Okay, let's just run out here and go into the world. Yes, I must... Borg! It's a good thing there was water down there and not lava, acid, or spikes. Because I can't really stand spikes, man. Fun fact about me personally, I'm allergic to spikes. They kill me. It's a very unique and very embarrassing secret of mine. Okay, let's get going. Let's just go on to the adventure. Borrelia's uh, Game Presents, a game produced by Le Felix uh, Cochin, directed by Patrick J. Monduo. I'm saying all these names completely wrong. If any of them ever watched this video, they would probably dislike it and uh, request for me to delete it. Okay, let's go and grab this crazy book of power. He talks to us the entire time, and I think he's like, there, there's like something where he's like secretly really bad, right? Something like that. A spell book? I wonder what it's doing here. Oh, it's not a reference to Zelda. Who are you? Uh, did you just speak? You're a book. Perhaps I did. Okay, get in my inventory. Spell book! Unlocked. So now we got special spells. Let me do the special spell and my dialogue. Amedi. See, now we ended up getting a focus ability, which is going to be explosions and junk like that, which for now is just going to end up being our basic melee attack. But then the whole thing is that you can end up combining all sorts of different elements with your melee attacks and chaining whether or not you want to do a melee attack and then a ranged attack and then a block attack and all sorts of things. All in crazy combinations, dude. That is the key here. Combinations. That's a key word here. Die! You stupid idiot! Well, that wasn't that much stronger. Archage my foot. No, seriously, uh, I'm actually very, very scared at the fact that the arch... Uh, a mage? Did I say archage? Uh, the arch mage mode would be insane, dude, just because of the fact that 
Like, this game was already so difficult for me. Granted, when I was going through this game, see, there's our ego. That is our uh, self-blocking ability, at least for right now. And you block with different elements and junk like that. Uh, but, man, alive, when I played through this game, dude, like, I, I don't even know how I got through it as quickly as I did. I'm pretty confident that the game wanted us to, uh, you wanted me to end up getting like a whole lot more of the magic spells and going into the secret areas and everything and unlocking all sorts of different weapons and everything. But I didn't. I ended up just going and fighting the last boss with like two hits or something ridiculous. I really don't know how I did it. Like seriously, because I normally suck at video games. Okay, now we got our projectile spell, which as of right now, we don't actually have a rune to turn it into a projectile. So as of right now, all we can really do is just, okay, uh, set it up as a static spell that's just going to stay right there, right put, okay? Uh, because later on, you're gonna end up getting a rune that you can put on the spell that makes it shoot as a projectile, or one that makes it shoot to the right or to the left. Yes, they actually wasted two runes to make it shoot to the left or the right. I know it's really, really weird and strange. Enemies in this game get so super duper strong and tanky, dude. There is no way I would be able to beat this game on a harder difficulty like it is right now. Like seriously, Creo allows spells for durable effects. Speaking of being able to cross over a river of ice, because otherwise the water kills us. Like seriously, it's not fun. Okay, get out of here, dude. These enemies are actually like taking a lot more hits too, which is kind of annoying. Get out of here, you. Oh, we actually scared him into the water like an idiot and just beat him. Wow. All right, well, now we ended up getting ourselves a little town portal action so we can warp over to Haven, which reminds me of Fable. Wow, I forgot how pretty this game was. That was also another thing that we didn't end up getting to touch in my Let's Play was uh, there's kind of like a big challenge room. Again, really reminds me of Fable. I love that game. I know it didn't really have the best reputation, but it was awesome nonetheless. And a lot of this game reminds me of it. That's why it's relevant. Uh, they ended up having a arena in this game as well that if you can manage to get through it, but you gotta be not only good at the game, but good at uh, finding out the cheap spell combinations <laughs> that end up defeating all the enemies and stuff like that. If you can get through it, you can get yourself like a powerful wand and really, really powerful robes that look really, really sick on your character as well. I only know because I've seen screenshots online, not because I was able to actually get it, because like I said, I suck at these video games. And uh, also there's that weird crazy character on our right, which I think has something to do with like at the end of the game, it's like, hey, 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 I'm secretly going to be in the sequel or something, which would be absolutely awesome if they do manage to end up making a sequel because this game is absolutely great, like really worth checking out. I know I kind of just keep repeating myself on how awesome this game is and the high energy that I have towards it, but Again, most of all, that's just got to do with the fact that I already played through this game and I have very fond memories of it. And I don't really feel like actually explaining all the same things that I already ended up doing. Like, I mean, I have a link in the description, not only to my Let's Play series, but also to my first impression of the game, where I talk about the different gameplay mechanics and just kind of how the game ends up working a little bit more specifically. Okay, is this that much harder? <laughs> wow, they this Arc Mage mode, man, it's so difficult. Like, seriously. No, it probably doesn't change much for the starting area, and it's probably only going to end up changing a lot for the later areas, I would assume. This game also has lots of references, not only to Zelda, but like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings and stuff, so it was actually very entertaining going through it, just because a lot of the dialogue is actually presented very well and really funny. These things on the left and right right here is so that you can end up increasing your health and mana. Again, I barely got to use those in my series. <laughs> I get too impatient when playing games, man. Like, because I'm like a Let's Player, I don't really pay attention to the small details. I just kind of go and hope that it works. Hello, young lady. Okay, hello, weirdo. Uh, this sign right here in the lore, the purple sign, is supposed to be all like, only mages can see this, and that's how you end up getting back to the starting area. And then, uh, very cool, too, because you pretty much only end up spending a limited amount of time in each of the zones, while you can end up returning back to each of the areas with different spells later, kind of Metroid style. For the most part in the series that I did, and I'm referencing that a lot, sorry to say folks that aren't interested, uh, but in the series I ended up just going into each area maybe like once or twice to end up like completing the dungeon, getting some loot that was required to get out of it, and then you just continue. Bob's your uncle and then you're done. Mistral Woods, ah, ah, ah. where are the stronger enemies? 
Are those the stronger enemies yet? I'm looking for the stronger enemies, not just the same enemies with more health. Otherwise, I look like a fool because I said we were going to have special boss enemies and junk. Which I'm pretty sure that they actually do have. Uh, but yeah, the normal enemies are what we're fighting right now, which is very convenient because otherwise I would be dead in two seconds. Uh, also, all of our spells are going to end up actually taking mana, which does recharge over time. Uh, but then otherwise, that's why they have the mana things that we're finding in the barrels and buckets and junk is because you want to actually use those tactically in the middle of combat, right? One of the other things that I never really got the hang of in the game. Ah, you guys are hurting my face. Like, seriously, what's wrong with you? Oh, jeez. See, I shouldn't be standing all up in their face like this, just taking the constant damage, but that's okay. I don't really care, even though health items and extra lives are another thing that you can end up getting out of this game that makes it a lot easier. Um... But again, yeah, this game's really, really difficult if you end up actually going through it legit and everything like that. In any case, that's pretty much all the time we have for today. And most of all, I just wanted to kind of show you all just a quick little, here's this game that you may or may not have seen me play that is actually worth picking up. Uh, again, I'll have links in the description to every version of this game, but the codes that I'm gonna be giving out are Steam only. Okay, so keep that in mind. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I personally would appreciate if you would like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. All of that is also going to end up building loyalty points to my merch store. Links are in the description for that where you can get this shirt and a bunch of others. Sign aura and stay epic. And thanks to the devs for throwing me all the extra codes and telling me about all this extra awesomeness.